I'm Miss Sarah, and this is the next Sharpsburg Story Stream. Whether you're a friend who normally comes to the library for a story time, or someone who's just finding us via our online content, I know we're going to have fun together today. Since I don't know which of my friends at home is watching, our hello song will not include anyone's name. It's for the same tune of If You're Happy and You Know It. For the first verse, let's clap our hands. If you want to read a book, clap your hands. If you want to read a book, clap your hands. If you want to read a book, sit down and take a look. If you want to read a book, clap your hands. Let's stomp our feet. If you want to read a book, stomp your feet. If you want to read a book, stomp your feet. If you want to read a book, sit down and take a look. If you want to read a book, stomp your feet. Let's wave our arms. If you want to read a book, wave your arms. If you want to read a book, wave your arms. If you want to read a book, sit down and take a look. If you want to read a book, wave your arms. Let's find our chair. If you want to read a book, find your chair. If you want to read a book, find your chair. If you want to read a book, sit down and take a look. If you want to read a book, find your chair. All right, I hope everyone's doing well this week. Our story today is set in the ocean. Do you know what the ocean is? The ocean is a great big body of water on the coast. So there are all different kinds of animals and plants who live in the ocean. Can you think of any animals that might live in the ocean? Yeah, whales live in the ocean. What else might live there? Fish are all different kinds of fish. Hundreds and hundreds of different kinds of fish. And there's coral and lobsters and crabs. All different kinds of things. So our story today includes lots of different kinds of animals that you might be familiar with and some you might not all who live in the ocean. Our story is called Crab Cake. It is words and pictures by Andrea Surumi and is read with permission of Houghton Mifflin. Under the sea, where sunlight touches sand, lies a place that's home to many incredible creatures. Do you see any that you recognize? You're right, there's a turtle and a shark. Let's read and see what's happening under the ocean. Clownfish hides in the stinging anemone. Manta ray gets cleaned, looks like there's some krill or something on him. Tangs swim in schools. Sea turtle holds her breath and scallop the loop de loops And crab makes cakes. Seahorse pretends to be seaweed. Spiny lobster looks for a new home. Parrotfish crunches coral and poops sand. Dolphin blows bubble rings. Toadfish sings, pufferfish puffs up, octopus hides in a coconut, and the right eel pops out of her cave. What do you think crab does? You're right, crab bakes cakes. Snapper eats and eats and eats and eats. The venomous lionfish does whatever she pleases. And crab bakes cakes. So life goes on under the sea. Until one night, there's a big splash. What happened? What do you see in the picture? Yeah, there's a boat. There's lots of trash. What's happening in the trash? What? It's all falling overboard into the ocean? Oh no! 
What kind of trash do you see? There's a bathtub, like motor parts, some tires. There's a lot of trash. There it is, big, ugly heap of it. What happened to the fish and to turtle? Do they look the same as they did in the beginning of the story? No, what's different about them? They're all colored gray and black. Maybe there was some soot or oil or something on all of the trash that fell into the ocean. I hope they'll be okay. Let's see what happens. Parrotfish freezes. Snapper freezes, shark freezes, pufferfish freezes, clownfish freezes, spiny lobster freezes, seahorse freezes, octopus freezes, sea turtle freezes, dolphin freezes, manta ray freezes, even lionfish freezes. They don't know what to do. And crab, does crab freeze? No, what does crab do? The crab got a shell and is stirring. I bet we can all figure out what crab's doing. Crab bakes a cake. How's that going to help? What's going on? Did crab just bake a cake? Asked one of the fish. Hide, says another. For how long? I don't know. Crab did. Crab baked a cake. Can I have some? Asks the fish. Crab says, sure. May I? Asks Turtle. Of course, says Crab. Can I have the part with the shell? Of course. Finally, everybody comes together. I was scared. What now? It was loud. That was awful. All right. Does anyone have any ideas? Asks the krill. The octopus raises their tentacle. What do you think they should do? They have a big group banded together. Hmm, I'm not sure. Lobster lifts, snapper shoves, clownfish rolls, turtles tow, dolphins drag, clam encourages, manta rays move, octopus inks, sharks carry, and sea lions lug. What are they lifting and rolling and dragging and moving and lugging? Oh! The trash, you're right. There are tires and boxes and bags of trash. Everyone helps. There's the heap up on the dock. An octopus painted signs that say, come get your junk. Under the sea where sunlight still touches sand, Incredible creatures go on swimming, playing, and doing what they do. Especially crab. The end. So if you find yourself at the ocean or a river or a pond or any other body of water, make sure that you're thinking about all the living things who rely on that water and that you're cleaning up your mess. So crab and the other creatures are in danger. This week is Earth Week, which means it's a time when we celebrate the Earth and do our part to take care of it. Of course, we'll have our usual make and take kits on Thursday 
But on Tuesday, April 20th, we're also giving away 50 spider plants while supplies last. Spider plants are great oxygenators. An oxygenator is a type of plant that helps put oxygen, which is what we breathe, back into the air. It's especially good for an area that doesn't have a lot of trees and has some pollution from the train tracks and from the highway. So if you find yourself in Sharpsburg on Tuesday, make sure you come by in the afternoon starting at 4.30 to get your own spider plant. If we have some left over on Wednesday, we'll be sure to post it online so you'll know to stop by and get one. If you would like to read more picture books about various kinds of bodies of water like oceans, rivers, and ponds, I have four recommendations for you. You can find these books online via the online catalog, librarycatalog.einetwork.net, or by calling your local library. Of course, we're also open for limited in-person service, so you can stop by and ask the staff for their own recommendations. My four recommendations are We Are Water Protectors by Carol Lindstrom. All the Water in the World by George Ella Lyon. Over and Under the Pond by Kate Messner. And the National Geographic Kids' First Big Book of the Ocean by Catherine D. Hughes. That's about all the time we have for today. Are you ready for the goodbye song? It's such a good feeling to know you're alive. It's such a happy feeling. You're growing inside. And when you wake up, ready to say, I think I'll make a snappy new day. It's such a good feeling, a very good feeling. The feeling you have that I'll be here when the week is new and I'll have more ideas. For you, and you'll have things you want to talk about. I will too. I'll see you next week, friends. Stay safe and healthy.